So I have a question here from a woman who's German Shepherd, 23-month-old German Shepherd, uh, actually bit a guy at work. She works in a construction project. Her boss allows her to take her dogs to work, and I'll read it to you. My dog's a 23-month-old German Shepherd that's been showing aggression to other animals, and just this week, I was at work with my dog. I work out of one of those temporary mobile construction trailers. Anyway, Bubba came to work with me, and I had him on leash while the contractors were around all day in the trailer. He has had no problems, not even growling at them. My coworker came to the site about 2 o'clock in the afternoon with his dog. His dog is a female mixed breed, about 30 pounds, and has terminal cancer. I'm not sure what that has to do with it. I was sitting between the two dogs, my dog to my right, closer to the exterior door, while the door opened and my friend's dog jumped up and put out a low growl and barked. Bubba, my dog, jumped up and proceeded to attack the man that came through the door. When I say attack, he basically bit his arm between the wrist and the elbow, four teeth marks in his arm. To say that I was devastated is an understatement. I've not had any protection training since July. What made me discontinue the protection work was his aggression to other animals. I have since corrected his aggression to other animals and just working him in obedience. Can you help me understand what I could have done that would have caused Bubba to be like this? Should I suspend all Schutzen training with this dog indefinitely? Okay, it's hard to answer some of these things because there's so many mistakes that were made. and. The fact that this woman does protection work with a dog and does Schutzen work with the dog means that Schutzen work or IPO work means that she should be extra vigilant on managing the dog. To have the dog in a trailer, even on leash, the dog should have been in a dog crate. Absolutely should have been in a dog crate. And the fact that the Schutzen training caused this to happen, in my opinion, 90% no, that's not what caused it to happen. The trigger was probably the other dog that was growling and barking and it raised this level, this dog's level of aggression. Number two, the dog should have had a muzzle on. If you're gonna take a dog, a 23 month old German Shepherd that you've had out doing Schutzen training, into a scenario where you have multiple unknown people coming into the trailer all day long, that dog should have had a muzzle on. There's just no excuse for not having a muzzle on. It's just that simple. You know, the bottom line is, had the dog been in a dog crate, this never would have happened. Even if the other dog came in and was barking and growling at the new guy, the new construction guy that came in the trailer. And the fact that the woman says that the dog had aggression problems to other animals has nothing to do with this. I'm sorry, it has nothing to do with it. And it has nothing to do with stopping or starting Schutzen training. You have two different scenarios here. Schutzen training is a dog sport. I will say this, in my opinion, 90% of the dogs that compete in Schutzen will not bite somebody that come into their home at night and try and burglarize a home when they're home. They're sport dogs. They, I used to, in the 80s and 90s, uh, I used to import German Shepherds from Germany that were selection tested dogs for police service work. Most Schutzen dogs cannot do police service work. This lady is making the right decision on working this dog more in obedience and 
unless she has access to a very good professional dog trainer, which is what she needs, she probably shouldn't go out and do more Schutzen work either. So in closing here, I need to talk about the fact of where these questions and answers come from. They come from the Ask Cindy portal on the front of Learberg.com. Cindy's my wife. And if you, you don't need to be a customer of Learberg to ask a question. If you have a question on training, if you have a question on raising puppies, on healthcare, on breeding, feel free to log in. And, uh, you do need to put your email address because the email is tied to the question that you, that you have. And if Cindy comes back or if you come back a week or a month or a year later, she can call up all of the questions and answers that you've written in on and review them. And it's just a better way for her to help. We don't sell mailing lists. We don't spam people with our mailing list. We do have weekly, two weekly newsletters that go out, but people can opt into those newsletters. If they want to opt out, they're off the list and they don't get a newsletter. They also don't get, they don't learn about when we have good sales on our online courses either, or on the equipment that we sell. So, if you have a question, ask Cindy. She answers them usually the day after people write them in, unless she's not feeling good or unless she's traveling.